Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the uh, section 5.2 I think we're almost in the end of the semester 5.1, how many sections do we still have? I think I have 1, 5.1, 5.2 .1, 5 and 5.3, that's it, right? Alright, so 5.1, let's look at this one Linear equations, the graph shows the population of metropolitan areas A and B 2005, what year is the population of greater than that of A? So B is bigger than A B is blue and A is red So B is bigger after 2003 to 2005 Wait, B is bigger, right? B is blue. Blue is then bigger than A. No, it's 2000. 2000. No, wait. Something here. Here, 2001 point something. Blue is bigger. Population of areas. B is greater than that of, yeah, 2001, 2002 to 2005. That's right. Okay. So it's 2002, actually. Solve the system of this one, 2x plus y equals 15, y equals 3x, you solve this, plug y, this is substitution method, 2x plus, plug 3x into y, so y is 3x, 3x equals 15, so you got a 5x equals 15, x equals 3. Okay, x equals 3, you plug into here, you got a y equals 3 times 3 equals 9, so it's 3 and 9. An uh, order of pair, I need to type in a parenthesis. So, three. Where's the comma? Three nine. Okay, so three nine is the answer. For this one, <laughs> negative 2x minus 4y equals 14. Okay, so I put this one the other side. Negative 4x plus 5y equals negative 24. All right, so what I do here, I'm going to use the uh, sub uh, use the animation method. What I do, I multiply the first num first equation by part by negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2, positive 4x. Negative 4 times negative 2 plus 8y. Negative 14 times negative 2, negative 28. We're going to add these two together. I'm going to add these two. So negative 4 and 4x canceled out. 4y, 8y plus 5y, 13y equals these two to get multiply, add together is negative 52. So y equals negative 4. Once you solve y, plug y into either one of the equation. Plug into the first equation, negative 2x. Minus 4 times y is negative 4 equal 14. So negative 2x, this is plus 16 equals 14. So negative 2x equals negative 2. Subtract 16, subtract 16. So x equals positive 1. So the answer is going to be 1, negative 4. plus 5y equals 15 and 12x minus 2y equals 62 so in order to cancel it out I need to multiply the first equation by negative 3 so 4x times negative 3 negative 12x 5y times negative 3 times negative 3 equals minus 15y 15 times negative 3 negative 45 then add this two together what I have is negative 12 and 12 cancel out. Negative 15 plus is negative 17y. Add those two is 7, 17. Y equals negative 1. You solve for y, plug it in. 4x plus 5 times negative 1 equals 15. So 4x equals 20. So x equals 5. x equals 5, right? 5y equals negative 1.
Okay, so next one. Uh, solve this one, 12x plus minus 3y equals 18, negative 4x plus y equals 6. What do we need to do? We can multiply the second equation by 3. You got 12, negative 12x 12 plus 3y equals... Multiply by 3, right? 18. So you add that together, you got 0 equals 36. So this is not true. There's no solution. Uh, 6x minus 50y, 54y equals 0. Negative 5x plus 45y equals 8. I can multiply the first equation by 5. 30x minus 5 times that. Okay, I don't want to do that uh, hard because this one I would like to do use, sub use substitution. So from this I got 6x equals 54y. So I got x equals 9y. Plug this one into here. So I got negative 5 times 9y plus 45y equals 8. So negative 45y plus 45y equals 8. So 0 equals 8, that's not true. So there's no solution. Okay, square root of 7x plus square root of 2y minus 3 equals 0. Square root of 8x minus y minus square root of 3 equals 0. So what we can do, we have to cancel one of them, right? So the problem is that this one does not have a cancel. So I can multiply the second equation by square root of 2. So you can make the 3 on the other side equals 3. Make the 3 other side equals square root of 3. And then I multiply the second equation by square root of 2. Multiply this one by square root of 2, so it's going to be 4x. Multiply this by square root of 2 is minus square root of 2y. Multiply this square root of 2 is square root of 6. So I add those two, square root of 7 plus 4x equals 3 plus square root of 6. So x equals 3 plus square root of 6 over square root of 7 plus 4. Okay, you ask you to find the nearest thousands. You have to find, use a calculator again. So now this is uh, 6 square root plus 3 equals Okay, 5.44948. Let me save it. Save this number. Okay, so 7 square root of 7 plus 4 equals divide equals okay so it's multiplied by whatever saved equals okay so you got the final answer is 0 0.81999 nearly yeah, thousand one two three so it's 0 0.82 okay once you find x plug into here find y uh, I'm not going to continue that because it's just a times of calculated stuff. So you got x equals 0.82. And what is y? So we're just typing any number 2. It's wrong for sure because that y is not right. Okay, so x is right, you can see that, x is right, and uh, x is 0.82, we got it right, y, you have to find that yourself, okay, but it's going to be different answer in your, your problem, uh, this is the method to do it. Number 8, number 8 might, <laughs> requires a little bit of work, so 5x plus 3y plus z equals negative 3 x minus 3y plus 2z equals 3. Uh, x minus 2y plus 3z equals 2. All right, so we solve this one. The biggest problem is we have three variables. We need to get rid of one variable. It's very simple for us to use the first equation, second equation, third equation. If I add the first two, first one plus the second one. 5x plus x, 6x. Negative 3 plus negative 3, y cancel, y cancel out, perfect. 
z plus 2 z 3 z this two give you zero that's very good I have an equation like this so now I need to use the second one and the third one to cancel y so how do I use those to cancel y you multiply the second equation by 2 so it's 2x minus 6y plus 4z equals 6 multiply the second equation by by this equation by negative 3 so it's negative 3x plus 6y because I want to cancel the the uh, the y I need to make this one negative 6 this one positive 6 so multiply this equation by negative 3 minus 9z minus 9 negative 3 right 6 so I add this two equation for example 4 and a 5 so 4 plus 5 you're gonna this add together is x negative x this to add together cancel out minus 5 z equals 0 okay so I just feel like x equals 0 y equals 0 okay x equals 0 y equals 0 no x equal no from here I can solve that you can whatever you do is 0 so x equals 0 z equals 0 but you solve this one x equals 0 z equals 0 you get a y equals plus 0 0 in y equals negative 1 so the sample the answer is 0 negative 1 0 negative 1 and another 0 okay so for this one what do we need to do we cannot um you have two you have a solution set of variable of x so 6x minus 5y plus z equals 9 and x plus y equals 13 so you can solve y in terms of x y equals 13 minus x that's your solution 13 minus x is your y and x is your x and find your z so plug into here 6x minus 5 times y is 13 minus x plus z equals 9. Now simplify 6x minus 65 plus 5x plus z equals 9. So z equals uh, 6x plus 5x 11x. Z equals this one add 65 9 plus 65 74 plus 70, 65 plus 65 right and this will cancel out and 64 74 minus 11 X so 74 minus 11 X so well, that's your solution X thirteen minus X 74 minus 11 X okay Next one, let x one of x equals t, one of y equals u. Find x u. So this one is four t plus four u equals eight over three, and seven t minus four u equals one. Pretty simple. Add those two, you cancel. Eleven t equals eleven over three. So t equals one over three. Once you solve t, plug into here. So you got a u. 4t, you plug t into here, so it's 4 times 1 third plus 4u equals 8 over 3. So 4u equals 4 over 3, so u equals 1 third as well. So from here, x equals 3. So from here, you got a y equals 3. Just reverse, right? This is a 3 and a 3. Right, so now this one, uh, y equals linear equation, plug it in, we got negative 3a plus b equals negative 21, uh, 6a plus b equals negative 3. This is pretty simple, you subtract it, you can subtract this too. Uh, subtract it, you get negative 3 minus 6, negative 9a, b cancel it out. Subtract it, it's negative 21 minus negative 3 is plus 3 which is negative 18. 
So a equals two. Plug a equals two into that function. So negative three times two plus b equals negative twenty one. So b equals negative twenty one plus six equals positive fifteen. No, negative fifteen. So your function is y equals two x minus fifteen. Alright, so now this one, find the equation through the the point. What do you need to do? Plug the plug these points into it. So oh we find A B C. Basically plug everything in. X, Y, so it's four plus four plus one plus two X. No, two A. Two A plus B plus C equals zero. And uh, twenty-five plus thirty-six minus five A minus six B plus C equals zero. And then eighty one plus thirty six minus plus nine A minus Y equals negative six six B plus C equals zero. So you have A B C A B C you have three functions to solve it. Okay, there is another way without solving it. If it's a multiple choice, you can solve this one. It takes a little bit of time to do. To you can cancel C. Use the first one. Cancel C. Use these two. Cancel C. You only have A and B and solve it. So I can do it real quick. I think you can plug two and one into the functions. Which one is right? So two squared is four plus one is five plus eight minus twelve minus nine. Okay. So. This one is wrong, I think. Okay, so the other one, four plus one minus eight plus twelve minus nine. Wait, right, this one probably is right. Okay. Uh, next one, you find. Um, a and B is quadratic relation between couple of that one. So t equals zero correspond. Use a system of linear equation to determine A, B, C, and give the give in the equation. Oh, you plug everything into it. So what do you need to do? T is ninety sixty two. So t equals zero. Y Wait, t equals zero, c equals three fifteen. T equals twenty, c equals three three six. T equals forty, c equals three sixty four. So you find a, b, c, plug in. So plug t equals zero in. You got c equals. So the answer is a t square plus b t because t equals zero is three fifteen. So plus three fifteen. That's your function. But, but, problem you I have to find a and b. So how do I find a b plug in? So t equal twenty. So it's four hundred a plus twenty b plus three fifteen equal three thirty six. Plug forty into the equation, you get sixteen hundred a plus forty b plus three fifteen equals three sixty four. Multiply by two, so you got eight hundred plus forty b um, plus six thirty equals six seventy two. Then you subtract it, subtract uh, subtract this two. So this one subtract this one, this one subtract this. It goes out is forty two. This one subtract this one. Uh, is uh fifteen, so is nine. Five minus one, forty-nine. Okay, so you subtract those two, you got um eight hundred a equals seven. 
We got these two canceled, we subtracted. And there's 800, A, this one minus the 7, so the A equals 7 over 800. Okay, B, you have to plug it in. A equals 8, 7 over 800. Plug, in, plug into here, 7 over 2 plus 20B equals, this one minus this, 21. So the answer is 20B equals 242 minus 7. So B equals 42 minus 7 is 35 over 2 times 1 over 20. Can reduce it. B equals uh, 5 reduced to 7, reduced to 5, 4, 7 over 8. So C equals 315. Okay, choose the answer 7 of 800 plus 7 of T mod plus that, so it's going to be C. Wait, it's all plus, right? Or this one. And uh, double in the year, what it means double, you got, okay, 7, 800, T squared, plus 7 over 8, T plus 7, 15, double in the year, so you got uh, 7, no, 630. So solve this one, solve this quadratic equation. You can multiply everything by, um, 800 is going to be a very big number anyway. So 70 squared equal over 800 plus 7 over 8t minus 315 equals 0. So you multiply everything by 8. 70 squared plus 7t minus, wait, 700. Multiply everything by 800. So 7 times 700 minus 315 times 800. Then use the what? Then use then use the uh, quadratic formula. X equals 2A, so it's 14 minus 700 plus or minus square root of 700 squared minus 4 times 7 times 315 times 800. Use your calculator. Okay. So next one. Suppose that continue. When the demand is zero, the price is price is zero. Demand is zero is twenty-four. So Q is zero, so the price is twenty-four. Okay, so the demand is three units is twenty-four minus four is twenty. And the demand is six units. Six times that plug in six in twenty-four is eighteen. 24 plus demand 6 times that 24 minus 8 oh 16 24 minus 8 16 okay find the inactor at least at find that at each find the demand for okay so now price equals 24 and demand equals 0 because 24 equals 24 minus 0, right? So Q has to be 0. And price equals 20. So plug in 20 equals 24 minus 4 over 3 times Q. So Q equals 3. Oh, so wh why do you have... It's actually back forth to the previous condition. 16, so is What is 16 previously? 6, right? 6 units. Okay, so draw a picture. Uh, 24, so it goes 24. And uh, rise over run. Rise over run, rise down 4 over 3. No, over 3 to here. 4 over 3, right? Rise over run, so down 4 over Three. Oh no. C 
swing is this one up to here okay so suppose the price supply can be operated by that where p equals that represents the supply p price so Suppose the price supply can open a uh, related by P equals 2 over 3 Q. Represent the supply and a P, supply and a P. I present the supply and a P price. Find the supply at each price. Oh, that's just simple. You would plug in again. 0 is 0 plug 10 P is 10 so it's 15 okay so it's 15 P is 20 I think uh, you can continue this one by yourself it's not really hard okay so you can continue all of them just the plug in plug in plug in it's just a lot of small things i can finish this one 20 is what a 10 is 30. okay it should not be hard at all you can click and raise over run from zero Three, two over three, right? Rise over one, so rise two, rise two, run three. Oh, my bad. Two over three Q. So P equals 2 over 3Q. So P is Y values. So start from 0. 0. Rise over run. 2, 2. Oh, my bad. 2 over 3. So rise. Rise over run. Rise 2 over 3. So it's like this. Okay. Rise over run. And then you can do find the equilibrium point what this point is you can open it big is 12 is 8 equilibrium point plug p equals 8 so as uh, 12 that's it